little bit about like that that period and yeah, maybe sure. up into Valentine. Yeah. yeah, sure. So open house basically. So that was the first one I did, and I did that in 2011, and I made that basically for a 48-hour film competition, and essentially. I don't know, I think because at the time, like, I, I'd graduated, I was waitressing, and I just, I don't know why, I felt like doing, like, a short that was just from my head, in a weird way, felt too expensive, <laughs> and, and, like, but a 48-hour film, I thought, well, I can probably persuade actors and maybe some crew to work with me on that, because it's only a weekend of their time I'm asking for. There's not really any prep, because you can't really prep. All you have to prep, really, is getting some equipment, but... You know, there's, there's not a lot you can do, really, because basically the nature of these competitions is they give you a title, a line of dialogue, so you can't, well, you're not supposed to, like, I, we didn't, but you, you, some people, I think, too, but you, you're not supposed to prep your story beforehand. And so basically, open house, so I'd done a few of these competitions, and I remember I used to write, like, these really long monologues, and I'd give them to the actors, obviously, and be like, great, we're going to film in an hour. And they'd be like, oh, my gosh. So I, um, and they did it. But I just remember thinking, oh, actually, I think, actually, because I love Kirby enthusiasm, I was like, I think it might be better in that kind of structure, that maybe I come up with, like, a plot line and, like, a rough, you know, which works way better for the 48 hours anyway. And then I find actors who are improv actors, you know, to do it, because it is such... It's such a hard skill to do really well. It's like, I suppose, like any skill. And the people that are really good at it make it look very easy. And I think that basically, so I met Paul, who's in that picture, because I Googled Improv London and his face came up. <laughs> and, and I was just like, oh, and he was, and the video he had was so funny. And so I just sent him a message, I think probably on Facebook then, and was like, oh, hey, I'm a filmmaker and I'd love to make a movie. And like, I think I'd sent him some of my other shorts and he was just game and was like, yes, I'd love to help you. So he basically helped me cast that short because he's obviously so in that improv scene. Um, yeah, and it was just really fun. And I think that I hadn't done a lot of comedy, weirdly, before that point. Even though as a writer, I was always writing kind of comedy. And, you know, one of the performers in that, Bryony Redmond, we got on so well that they're now my writing partner. Like, we've been writing together for 10 years now. So, yes, yeah, so I think that was, like, massive for me. And also just it really changed my life because I met all these comedians on it. And I was like, oh, I really like you guys. This is really fun. And they encouraged me to go do improv classes. And that completely... I guess in some ways, like, I guess like a philosophy thing, like kind of saying yes and to stuff and just throwing yourself into things. And I guess the good thing with any comedy, right, is that, you know, you might die on the stage, but you might get something really good out of it. <laughs> so I think that for me was really exciting, just building up confidence with that. And also like, generally, like, I'm quite introverted. Like, even just doing improv, like now, I can talk to all of you and not be like looking like this down on the floor. So like, I think that was a massive help as well. Um, so yeah, so I did Open House and then Kill Us the Musical. So Film 4 did a competition called Film 4 Scene Stealers and Ben Wheatley's Kill List, which is an amazing film if any of you haven't seen it. And it's very serious and you had to remake a scene from one of their movies. <laughs> and so, I don't know, honestly, I just thought it was funny. I, like there's a horrible but brilliant scene in it where someone is murdered basically with a hammer. And so I thought, okay, well let's do a musical <laughs> about hammers um, for that scene. And so I, I made that with um, um, Andrew Pugsley from Showstoppers, the improvised musical. And basically I'd seen them all perform at Edinburgh that year. And I kind of basically went up to Edinburgh, for, um, sorry, comedy festival with the intention of just meeting lots of comedians. And again, people I could collaborate with and just kind of meeting as many people in comedy as I could. Um, and basically that short film, like Matt said, it kind of, I guess, because film four obviously have such a big reach in terms of audience, it did break through for me in terms of, you know, people that maybe hadn't seen my work before did see it. And like Claire, the producer of Kill List, sent me a really nice message. And I think it's those little, yeah, <laughs> and I was so relieved. I was like, oh, thank God, she liked it. Um, and I think she showed it to Ben as well, and he thought it was funny. So I was like, okay, that's good. Um, but I think what was nice about it is those little moments, especially when like, because, you know, like I was a waitress, temp, I've done so many random jobs just to get money. And you know, it's hard and it's like, oh, am I ever going to break through? And like, why am I doing this? Um, and like you push through that doubt, obviously, and you keep making stuff. But those little messages like her sending me that email, again, it felt like progress, but also like, oh, this is actually a professional person in the industry and they liked my film. So it was massive for confidence. And then also, so then I did Valentine 
which was the first short I made that wasn't for a competition. Because I think I kept, I think it was like a confidence thing. I kept doing films for competitions because almost they, it was safe, right? Like it would be like, make it in this story or this is remake one of our films. And Valentine, because it's quite vulnerable, as I'm sure you will know, you're filmmakers, but it's a vulnerable thing, like putting a story out there from your life or your head. And so I, yeah, Valentine was the first thing I made that was basically just from my life. And it was my first short that got into like the bigger film festivals because five minutes, because that was the other thing I was coming up against with my competition films was obviously like some short film programs like London Comedy Film Festival program I work, but like, you know, the bigger ones, like, you know, it was harder to get them in just because obviously they're made in a very specific way. So yeah, so Valentine, you know, I, I remember, it, I think like London Short Film Festival, Palm Springs, like, all of them, basically. And I think what helped, actually this is probably helpful advice if anyone's a filmmaker. Um, so it was five minutes, that film, and I did other shorts obviously after Valentine, but I did find that my shorter shorts, <laughs> under five minutes or five minutes, they, I had a much better chance of getting in at a lot of short film festival programs. And I think it's honestly just because, you know, you have maybe like an hour long program and say you have like two shorts that are amazing that are five minutes but you have one that's 10 minutes that's also amazing you know you can showcase two filmmakers or just if you're like oh well it's only an extra five minutes to add to the program and I really like this film so yeah so I, I did find that definitely opened the door for me in terms of yeah just getting into those bigger festivals and then that kind of again just helps help me like raise my profile and get onto like talent labs and yeah find us at nodirectionhome.com <laughs>